Hello my gorgeous Sagittarius, how are things with you? Hope you're well. This is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and we're into mid-September 2019. Been spending some time with the deck as always, as always, meditating on the energies. Before we start, Saggy, do remember it's a general reading. <laughs> I know you're going, yeah, we know. Well, do remember. Check your moon and your Venus sign if you're wanting to know about love, okay? Um, thank you if you are a regular subscriber. Hello to my cross watchers out there. Nice to have you with me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You will then be notified the minute I get videos out live. A couple of boring things to tell you, but I have to. Um, do remember the videos are under copyright, strict copyright. Um, and I'll link to my company, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance. So Saji, without further ado, I think we'll start with our usual channeled message from Archangel Michael. Let's see what he has to say for you guys for mid-September, okay? Let's settle ourselves down just for a couple of quiet minutes. If you're tempted to skip to the main reading, I wouldn't advise it, only because the message from Archangel Michael is very clearly linked to the reading and it may give you a bit more insight as to what this is all about right <laughs> okay guys here we go here we go archangel michael thank you for joining us in this reading for sagittarius what do you have michael for the collective please for mid september 2019 I've got a vision of a long stretch of highway, right? A long stretch of highway. And there's a woman in the in a car, little car. I think it's a little smart car, actually. Red smart car. Okay. Um she's listening to music on the radio. She's kind of on auto, right? She's on auto. There's a long stretch of road, there's no traffic in front of her, she's with her left hand or right hand, whatever this is, she's filling around with a makeup bag on her lap. She's not really concentrating, to be honest. She kind of flicks her eyes to her phone on the front seat, waiting for a text. She's waiting for a text. Um, anyway, something catches her eye on the left and she briefly turns her head and then realises with shock that a huge lorry is pulling out of a tiny side road. She slams on her brakes. Everything flies to the front of the car. And she just touches the edge of this lorry's wheel. And what I'm hearing in my head as the airbag explodes is brace yourself for impact, Saji. Brace yourself for impact. Now, we're not talking about a car accident, right, Saji? You're with me? We're talking about a very shocking event. Brace yourself, Sag. Okay? Wow. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> He's laughing. Mm. So, Saji, this is something that seems to be a shocking revelation, a shocking meeting. And you're gonna to need to brace yourself, Saji, okay? Yeah, seems like this might be something good, but we will see what comes through in the cards. All right, here we go, here we go. Cards are ready. Yeah, wow. There's your card, Saggy. Beautiful. Okay. Bracing yourself for impact. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Mm. 
Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Sag. Now, this can be a long-term situation, right? This can be your happily ever after, but Sanji, we're looking at a 10, right? We're looking at a 10. Whatever this is, is going to be very impactful, quite shocking, okay? We could be talking about an ending. We could be talking, though, about an ending of a three-party situation which may lead to a new beginning. That's what I'm hearing. But whatever this is, is going to be shocking, okay? Somebody here is going to be dealing with a very exciting new start. Somebody here is going to be dealing with an ending. Okay? We have two tens on the board. So let's see where this goes, right? So Saji, we start with the energy of the fool. Now, you could be dealing very clearly with an Aries, right? This is you, potentially though, taking a leap of faith and a risk in a brand new direction. Feeling free, feeling alive, feeling light. Embracing the new is what I'm hearing. Really embracing the new. Now, this can be a new life path, a new start. But I'm feeling that this is after something that happened in the past that shook you, okay? Yeah, I'm losing my voice. My throat chakra's closing up. Michael has his hand on my left shoulder. There is something here that is painful, but we are talking about release and a new start. Okay. Crossing that energy, Sanji, is you. Okay. Now, you could, of course, be feeling a little bit unbalanced about an Aries. If not, this is you embracing something new, whatever this is for you, but feeling a little bit emotional. But also, this card of temperance in reverse can be impatience. Maybe you are impatiently wanting to move forward, impatiently wanting that new start, or impatiently, Saggy, wanting to be with an Aries. However this works for you. In the past, we had the Hierophant. So there could have been a Taurus in your past. If not, you were connected with somebody who was married. Now, to be honest, this could have been, yeah, I'm going to say it, three-party situation. You might have got involved with somebody who told you they were single. Or you found out that they were married. I'm feeling as if you found out rather than them telling you. And of course, the Hierophant can be seeking inner guidance. This is a healer. This is somebody who is wanting to pass you advice. Okay. Now, Sanch, who knows, you could be in a situation where you were the one who were married. In the immediate past, we have the Eight of Wands. Now, this could be somebody who messaged you in the immediate past, fast communication, fast action, wanting to come and see you. Maybe you travel to see someone else. Maybe this is you breaking free from something and looking to the future. Looking to the future. But I do feel this is relating to somebody, Saji, who you were involved with somehow in the past. Now, to be honest, no judgment. Could have been somebody that was already married 
Or maybe you were the one that married, who was married, and you met someone that you just couldn't be without. I think this person is getting in touch or you are deciding to get in touch with this person and you are bracing yourself for impact, Saj. Whoever you are in the story, in your thoughts, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, you are hearing back from this person or you are reaching out to them, but you have no real idea that this is going to move forward in any way. You don't feel that you two can work in partnership. It's not happening, right? Or you may be thinking that this person is still connected to somebody else. It could be that you are still connected to somebody else, but there is somebody here who is wanting to take a leap of faith and a risk, feeling very impatient, unbalanced emotions, but maybe feeling as if there's no hope for this to turn into anything stable. This can be three-party energy, of course. Maybe you're wondering, Saji, whether somebody else is still linked to that third person. Now, Michael, when are we seeing the energy in the immediate future, please? I've got the 24th of September to the 30th in my head. Okay, all right. Sanji, we're looking at the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, I have a feeling that this is you arranging to meet someone or somebody is wanting to meet you and you are bracing yourself for this meeting, this conversation, now, it could well be somebody that you were in a three-party with in the past. Maybe that ended. Maybe you're wondering whether or not this person is still with their karmic partner. But whatever this is, Sanji, you don't really feel confident that this is going to end up in reunion. You don't really feel as if this is going to be something you're going to celebrate, right? In the other person's energy, and we could be looking at an earth sign, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They are really wanting something balanced. Now, it could be clearly that they are balancing out their finances. Maybe what may be shocking to you, Saj, is that if this person was in a commitment before, they are no longer in that commitment because this person is giving to other people. This could be divorce settlement, division of the assets, right? Equity release on a property. So what I think is shocking, Saj, is that whoever this is, is coming back in or you are deciding to reach out to them with a view that, you know, you're 99.9% .9 sure their situation hasn't changed, they're still with this person and not really having a lot of high hopes for this. I think whatever happens here is going to be that airbag moment, right? Because whoever this is, is coming to you saying, I want to let you know what's been going on over the past few months. I am now in a situation where I am unattached and I wanted you to know that I'm now single. But Sanj, this is, to be honest, a very difficult energy for you to move yourself into. Because what I'm getting here is this person is coming back. Maybe somebody that you had high hopes for to be with in the past. Maybe they were in a committed relationship. You're now finding out, or this person is wanting you to know that they are unattached. But this person has their back to you. 
almost as if they're coming back and saying, well, I'm unattached now, just so that you know that. And you might be sitting there or standing there or on email reading a message from them thinking, well, yeah, where does this, why are you contacting me? Where, where is this going? I don't understand. This person isn't offering you anything, Saji, to be honest. Now, it could well be, it could well be that it's because they are embroiled in picking up the pieces from a divorce separation. They do not want to get themselves straight into a serious commitment again. But this person hasn't stopped thinking about you. And Saji, I think you haven't stopped thinking about this person. So Michael is, <laughs> Michael is showing me roadblocks. He's taking one away, but he's putting another one in the middle of the road. As if to say one big blockage of you two being together has been removed, but there is still no forward movement. There is still someone blocking progress. Now it could well be that this person, as I said, is having hopes for potentially moving forward with you in the future, but I'm hearing in the future and Michael's underlining future. But this isn't gonna happen quite yet. So Saj, for some of you, there's gonna be a lot of inner excitement because whoever this is, Saj, is actually trying to remove blocks in their life to potentially, potentially move towards you, but they're not quite ready yet. They're not ready yet. For some of you, as I said, there's gonna be a feeling of, well, okay, great, it may happen in the future. For others of you, it's gonna be a big impact, but it's gonna be disappointing because I think you felt, Saji, that if this person became single, they would just come running back to you saying, okay, full steam ahead, let's do it, let's do it. But they're not, they're not, Saj. Could have been that this person went through trials and tribulations, a really difficult divorce, maybe they've lost a heck of a lot of money, and they're just absolutely terrified of that happening again. Getting into another serious relationship, right? In your fears, judgment, yeah? Fearing them coming back to you, fearing a second chance, fearing that you may have to make a judgment call about this person. Now, for some of you, you will be willing to wait, hang on, see where this goes. Whilst, whilst I have to say, Saji, you carry on with your life, right? Yeah, this isn't you sitting looking at the phone. This is you getting on with things, but in the back of your mind thinking, okay, when this person is ready, this may well move forward. For others of you, you're gonna have to make the very difficult judgment call of walking away from this person. Because even though they are now single now, Saji, they, they are just not ready. And you may come to the conclusion, I cannot waste any more time. I cannot waste any more time. This is also you leaving the situation almost in the hands of the divine, right? What will be will be. If this is supposed to happen, it's supposed to happen. If destiny says this is the person I'm supposed to be with, it's going to happen in divine timing. For some of you, you will be kind of bracing yourself to have the strength to cut this person out. Queen of Swords in reverse in your hopes. Hoping to have the courage to say to this person, well, yes, I mean, it's, it's nice to see you, right? <laughs> but I don't understand why you're coming to me. Is this a little bit of you know, a backhander, right? Are you coming to me saying, yeah, I'm single, which is kind of what you wanted, but I don't want to be with you yet. I mean, that's difficult to take, Saj. Maybe you walked off and left this person and it's their kind of quiet revenge, whatever this is. It may well be that they just want you to know the truth. 
to see whether or not you are willing to wait. So as I said, some of you will come to the conclusion that you have to put this to a final stop, right? And it's going to be painful. This might have been somebody that you kind of hung on for for a while, emotionally, right, maybe, wondering whether or not in a few months they come back to you in a couple of years, whatever this is. For some of you, you are hoping that this person is genuinely being honest with you and that they have detached potentially from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that that person is now out of their life. Sag, it's going to be difficult because I feel in the reading, and Michael's saying yes, that there are two very succinct groups of people who are going to be taking different courses of action. One group is very much going to say, well, okay, all right, you're now telling me that you're single, you're available, but you don't want a relationship, so see you, Felicia. <laughs> I'm off, right? Don't understand why you've come back to me and told me that if... You know, you're not ready for anything serious. For some of you, you are going to understand that this person came back to you with a view in the back of their minds that when they'd healed, right, when they'd sorted out their finances, when they come to from what might have been a very painful divorce with a lot of people involved, that you two could potentially move forward together in the future. Two succinct groups. Whatever this is, Saji, though, this is going to be, I think, a bit of a shock. One way or the other. I do feel that with the Ten of Swords in the outcome, this could very well be the majority of you saying, okay, I've thought about this person too much. I've hung on emotionally to this person too long. I have to bring this to a close. It's going to be painful, Saji. I'm not saying it isn't. But I think there will be a sense of you, I have to say, picking yourself up quite quickly from this. Almost as if it's like the last straw. Okay. You knew, 99% of you knew this was going to be the end anyway. You kind of felt it. And you'll be embracing a brand new life, a new start, right? Dating other people, changing careers, relocating, concentrating on your family, concentrating on going out with friends, whatever this is. Knowing that this is the end, you cannot wait for this person any longer. For some of you, this is the energy of the person that has detached from their karmic partner. They're in a lot of pain right now. And you know, I know that you don't want to hear that there was any attachment to the karmic partner, but there may have been children involved, right? There may have been deep emotions. This person may have been with their karmic partner for 20 years. There's a lot of emotion in that, Saji. So even though if you are or were the third person, you don't want to know that this person may be hurting from disconnecting from their karmic partner. But, you know, the memories are there, right? The memories are there. It's not easy to walk away from 20 years of knowing someone. So this may well be their energy, Sag. And for some of you, you will be willing to wait for them to heal from whatever this is, this painful separation, this divorce, this breakup. And maybe the Three of Cups in reverse in your energy is you preparing for reunion, but knowing it's not yet. I do feel that this is definitely for two groups because we have two succinct separate energies here. Yeah, for the first group, maybe, who realise this has to be the end, full stop, not looking back at this anymore. <clears throat> My throat's closing up. Wow. Wow. You're going to realise this person maybe is, always was, a little bit selfish, right? Did what they wanted to do, didn't really care who they hurt in the process. And this person may well be, yeah, definitely disconnected from a karmic partner. 
but maybe they're still a bit of a player. Maybe they just want to go out and have some fun for a while. This could still be a three-party situation. But sadly, what might be shocking to you is that even if this person has detached from someone that they were in a commitment with, they, be, they may now be dating lots of other people. They haven't actually come back to you to reconcile, to move this forward into anything stable. So this may still be a three-party situation, Sanji, but shockingly, not with you and their karmic partner as it was in the past. This is them trying to hang on to you whilst going out and maybe dating other people, new people, right? Because now they're free, they're let loose. They're not constricted by anything anymore, but they don't want to really let you go. Selfish, right? Now, for others of you, Saji, you are going to be hanging on to the view that this person has come back to you, told you the truth, for whatever reason, and of course the only reason would be, potentially, because they want you to know that they are working on disconnecting, working on healing, working on mending bridges, maybe with family members. And they are still going through a lot of hurt and pain in this. And the Ten of Cups is you feeling that if you can be patient, if you can give this person a little bit more time, maybe a few months, this will turn into a new relationship. Which could, of course, be a wish fulfilled. This is also the energy of Aquarius. And we have Gemini here too. So a mixed reading, Saji. And it's interesting the visual that I had because wherever you are in this story, whoever you are in this, this will be a big impact on you. For some of you, the impact will be that you really have to close this out and move on. But the shock will be that this person has come back. For some of you, the impact is, wow, this person has really taken the bull by the horns. I never thought they'd do this. I'm disconnected from a karmic partner. Right? And this may work out in the future. Wow, they've, un they've done it, right? Whatever they're doing now, they are out of that situation. There is hope on the horizon. 